Hola guys. Should be happy Saturday, but today did not turn out as I had planned. Uh, during the however long that I was making my haul video, I had asked little dude to get ready, you know, get cleaned up, put on some clean clothes, deodorant, wash your face, brush your teeth, you know, make sure you look presentable. And he didn't do it. Now, usually he's kind of funny, kind of, you know, he gets away with some things because he's funny. But after an hour and three times of asking him to do it and his attitude being, oh, sorry, I forgot, cute, to basically giving me the whatever look. Yeah, he's 13. That's starting, I've just noticed. Uh, I started to get upset. So I told him on the third time, I told him, this is the third time I've asked you to get decent. You're not leaving the house looking like that. Uh, there won't be a fourth time. If I set my mouth to asking you a fourth time, I'm going to the movies, I'm going to lunch, and you're not. Well, he comes downstairs. He has on different clothes. His hair looks somewhat in place. Uh, so I go upstairs to get myself straightened out, and I notice his toothbrush is dry. His deodorant hasn't been moved out of the drawer. Everything else that I told him to do short of putting on clean clothes, he didn't do. And it was the lie that upset me the most. I don't like cheats, and I don't like liars. And the smug little snotty look on his face, like he thought, oh, mom's just going to think I'm cute like usual. And that's my fault. Ooh, curbside finds. Um... Like I said, it's my fault, but I have to nip that in the bud because a lot of times he does. He ends up making me laugh. I'm not going to lie. So I think he thinks he can get away with stuff because, honestly, he has. But he's never given me attitude. He's never given me that whatever. Look, this is new. I've noticed it a little bit in the last few days. And I know he's 13. And, you know, I got to consider that. But at the same time, I am not that kind of mama. You ain't going to look at me cross-eyed. You ain't going to give me no side eye. I'm just not that mom. So, um, I mean, I ain't going to punch him in the chest or nothing either, but you are not going to disrespect me. You are not going to try and get over on me. Um, so he tried to get over on me. I said, did you brush your teeth? Did you da 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 da? And he had this little look on his face. I said, oh my God, so you just both face lied to me because he told me he had. So you just both face lied to me. I said, let me know how I know you're lying. Your toothbrush is bone dry. Your deodorant has not been out of the drawer. And I know this because you never put your deodorant back. Uh, you know, your hair products aren't out. So I think you just uh, probably wet your head a little bit. And you got schmutz on your face. So you didn't even wash your face. So I got upset. And I said, you know what? I told you if I had to come at you a fourth time, I was going to go out and you weren't. So I grabbed my purse and I left. And I've never done that. And honestly, I feel a little bad. I feel kind of guilty like. But this is the kind of crap you need to nip in the bud. Because he's 13. And he's a boy. And he's going to push me. So, yeah, I feel kind of bad. The plan was we were going to go to the movies. We were going to have lunch. We were going to go to my sister's, spend the night. We were going to redo my mom's room. But all I've done is I went to the bins. Because um, it's coming to my sister's house. I went to the bins just to whoops out. Oh, a yard sale. Goodness gracious. Curbside finds and yard sales. But anyway. And now I'm just heading over to my sister's to help with uh, the, the judging up of my mom's room. I'm not going to spend the night because at the end of the day, whether I'm angry or not, my place is at home with my kids. And my big dude is there with him. My big dude understands I need to just decompress. But I still, I need to be at home with my kids when my kids are there. So... Well, with my little one. So I'm just heading over to my sister's house and gonna do up the room and then I'm gonna head on home. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all because the video before this is all happy-go-lucky. We're heading out to have a good time and it didn't turn out that way. Parents of teenagers, am I gonna survive this? Am I gonna survive? Oh, please tell me I am. But let's get into uh, whatever footage I picked up at the bins and until I see y'all again, I love y'all bunches. Bye. This is so pretty. There are a few chips on it though. And I don't have any other Crisco dish here, so I'm gonna leave it behind. Ooh, ooh are there four of these? Oh my goodness, are there four? Are there four? Yes, there are four. Ooh, cobalt. That is pretty old. It has a nick. Never mind. What 
the heck is up with the peacocks? If I had had any clue as to how to wash this, I would have brought it home. I had all of these in my basket, but then figured I didn't have room, so I put them back. Then just as I was getting into the groove of it all, I come across this little sock monkey mug, and I got sad because little dude loves a sock monkey. Well, I'm home. I've been home. It's actually 3 in the morning on Sunday, and uh, mommy guilt is a bee, let me tell y'all. Um, I came home and struggled for hours with the fact that I wasted a whole Saturday and didn't do anything with my little dude, but at the end of the day, I had to stick to my guns and, and be a mommy, and I mean, little dude's okay. He said he wasn't sad. He was just, I'm going to try and make the face that he made. I asked him, so how did you feel when you realized I'd left? And he's like, well, I wasn't sad, but I was like, I said, you were upset that I left? He's like, yeah, I didn't really think you were going to. I'm like, well, I told you. But, um, I mean, he's fine. He actually cleaned up his room. Uh, without my having to ask him about an hour after I'd come home so I think the message got through I think he's remorseful in his way but yeah it's just I'm struggling I'm a big mush uh, it doesn't keep me from disciplining my kids it's just I feel bad but I think all parents do but anywho um, I did go to the bins and it's three in the friggin morning guys and I stayed up and binged watched the watcher on Netflix that friggin' show has my nerves on edge. I'm tired, and I think if I lie down, I'd fall asleep, but I might have bad dreams because I'm, like, suggestible like that. But that show was so good. I had done a little research about what it was based on, but the show was stinking creepy. I don't know if there's going to be a season two or a part two. I'm not sure, but it was really good, and it was really creepy, and jarring and everybody was amazing on it but now i have what's happening on in the background so y'all might be able to hear that a little bit along with my fan because it's a little warm in here but yeah i got a you know shush down and juice down and woos on down with some comedy okay because uh i can't go to sleep with my mind all scarified but anywho let me show you the few things that i picked up it wasn't a whole lot and i honestly think the prices went up a little bit because i've gotten way more stuff before for less i paid 18 dollars and some cents for what i'm gonna show you now granted what i picked up is kind of heavy but even in the past i've picked up heavy stuff um and it's not been that much um so maybe their prices went up i gotta go online and see if their per pound went up on goods and then the bins like i told you guys before are really sucking it now now they only have two small, uh, well, one U-shaped conveyor belt of hard goods and the rest all in the back area is clothes and the front is clothes and I'm just not down with that. Like the Goodwill store itself and the Goodwill bins have just been not the truth. Uh, but I was there and y'all know I didn't walk away empty handed, but let me show you guys a few little things that I did pick up. I'm going to insert a picture of something that I picked up for my sister. I couldn't resist it. So I took that to her and she really liked it. And at first I thought she's not going to want another rooster because she's pretty much told me a couple times I don't have any more room. But as soon as I showed it to her, she's like, I'll find room for it. So she was really happy with that little purchase. Well, big purchase. And then I found this lovely thing right here. Okay. Okay. I think it's crystal. Because it pings. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a dish or an ashtray. Oh, it looks crystal. Because you can kind of see the iridescence. The little rainbow colors. I thought it was an ashtray. But I don't see the grooves. Like actual grooves for a cigarette or a cigar. So it might just be a little dish. Uh, there's a mark on here that says K-I-G or R-I-G Indonesia. I'm not sure, but it's really pretty, so I grabbed that. 
I found two of these and I never leave these behind because I have handbags and scarves and all kinds of things uh, on these things. And I found two of them. One is kind of a brushed satin and this one is like a stainless steel, so shiny and uh, matte. I always grab stuff like that. I could not pass these glasses up. Straight up 70s maybe early 80s they reminded me of my nino and nina's house she used to serve us uh ice cold coca-cola in these glasses and my heart just did something because i no longer have my nina uh but my nino's still alive and they just reminded me of them so i grabbed the four that i found and they're perfect they're they don't have any chips or dings or anything on them I got all four, and then the only other thing I picked up, things I picked up, were these Mama Jamas. They're super heavy, and I think this is where the money came from. I found some metal scrolly goodness. Uh, I have two of them, but I ain't gonna pick up both of them. Uh, and I almost left them behind because I honestly don't have a space for them, but I can always make space. I just, y'all know, y'all know I love this kind of stuff. But I went ahead and grabbed two of them. And that was it. Uh, I was going to go into the main store, but we had just been in there the other day and there wasn't really much to pick from. Uh, but yeah, I figured since I'm up, I may as well show you guys these few little things. And now I'm going to settle in and finish watching some of my what's happening to see if Raj and Dwayne and Rerun can lull me into a peaceful mindset so I don't have spookified dreams. But yeah. We're going to try again tomorrow. He totally understands where he went wrong. It's not that he didn't want to be hygienic. It's that he lied. So he totally understands. So we're going to try again tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow. Um, so we'll see if there's a break in, in the weather. We can head up, up the road and try and get our scary movie on. Uh, but thanks for hearing me chismearing gossip on the other video. And for letting me have my mom event on this one but um until my next go around i hope you guys had an awesome day and i hope you guys have a wonderful and relaxing sunday until my next next go around i love you bunches bye